and it's been a violent week for the city of Memphis and the impact is being felt right here in Central Texas. Bond was revoked for the suspect accused of abducting and murdering a Baylor University graduate in Memphis. Eliza Fletcher was out jogging Friday morning when detectives say a man ran up on her, forcing her into a black SUV. Fletcher's murder is sparking worry across the running community. Now, Texas Today reporter Meredith Haas spoke with experts around the central Texas area to help you in a time of need. Good morning, Meredith. We are listening. Good morning, Jasmine. The tragic loss of that Baylor graduate and mother of two is devastating. And all over social media, you see people saying she was just out for her morning jog. So this made me think, if this story sparks fear, especially in women, you need to know how to best defend yourself and where to go to get that training. There's going to come a point where you are in hand-to-hand -hand combat and you're going to have to learn how to protect yourself with nothing but your body. Sheila Wahlberger, who works in mixed martial arts, says knowing how to defend yourself can mean a difference between life and death. But knowing jujitsu, you're learning how to use leverage and force to do submissions, which is things that make people stop or give up. The chief of police at Texas A&M Central University says now more than ever, it is important to get trained. Your eyes always need to uh, stay open and, and be alert and look at things. Um, you know, if you do take those courses, practice on them. Don't just go once uh, a week and think you're a black belt. That's not going to happen, right? Uh, you have to practice on a daily basis. Mayor Bonnell specifically trains women for the initial fear of being attacked. She says that's exactly what can throw someone off right away. Not so much conquering, but kind of like conquering your fear of being in that situation. But the biggest thing Mayor stresses is knowing how to fight someone off. Training is definitely key in uh, being able to, you know, face those fears. Both instructors say even the simple act of screaming or yelling out the description of your attacker can ward off a threat. And don't forget, at least once a month train because if you're not training, if you're not practicing your, you know, your body, you're going to forget it. Make sure that this information is also on our website. So if you are interested in learning hand to hand combat or you just want to try out one class, we will have it listed later this morning on our website at KCENTV.com. Yes, thank you, Meredith. A lot of people will need that information. It's such good information to know. Thank you.